there and welcome back to Japan where I suspect this video is going to have a slightly different tone from a lot of the ones we normally do. See, today's subject is the hiatus of Silent Siren. Now, yes, obviously we've had things like Baymill going on hiatus recently as well. The big difference with their hiatus is that that was one which I get the feeling was planned. Um, there was a lot of things used in the announcement, phrases like end of a phase and talking about you know what they were doing and locking themselves away to think of something new. Whereas the Silent Siren one, it came kind of out of nowhere, not long after Hina leaving the band, and the announcement itself was very short. Whereas their announcement around Hina leaving was quite detailed and there was a lot of stuff said about you know how they wanted time to think about things, this was a very short announcement that had a lot of thanking the fans and things that sounded like what you would say if you were concerned you wouldn't have the opportunity to say anymore. Now this is not to say that Silent Siren are going to disappear, however I can't help but feel that it doesn't look good. So I wanted to take more of an opportunity in this video, because we spoke a lot about the potential future of Silent Siren in the Hina leaving video, and what I wanted to talk in this video about why this band is so important and why I think that actually for something which is just kind of fun and innocent, we really do need Silent Siren. It can be hard when you're a music fan, especially one who takes a particular love for the details of complicated songwriting and does music reviews and such like, to not occasionally wander into the territory of a slight intellectual snobbery when you talk about music, you know, always rejoicing in the more complicated. Sorry, it's really windy, but it's also so pretty up here. So in that push to always hear the next big wow factor and hear every band get the most out of their sound, it is possible to sometimes not talk enough about things that are just consistently good, just of consistent quality, even if they're not necessarily pushing any boundaries. And sometimes things that are just consistently entertaining or charming. And when we're looking at Silent Siren, we're looking at a band who on the surface might be doing something fairly simple, you know, pop rock. But what they're doing is actually servicing a very, very important niche. They do charming pop that's innocent and easy to get into, and yet it's got so many facets to it. They do cover a wide range of different emotions and approaches, as accessible and sometimes fluffy as their music is, and it's always performed with a really, really clear level of musicianship. I mean, this is the sort of reason why they couldn't just be replaced by most factory-produced pop bands. Yeah, I know their songs are written for them, and yes, I know the way they came together. And yet there is something genuine, there's something that they bring which does cross over that sort of fun, fluffy, factory-produced pop with a real genuine sense of musicianship, honesty, and more than anything, quality. Now if they were for any reason to not come back, I think they'd leave a much larger hole than most people would expect from a band like this. If you wanted another happy band, yeah, you could go put on some Necrai Tokyo or something if you wanted happy with a bit of quality, but Necrai Tokyo are a different type of happy. They're that kind of enthusiastic form of happy that I think sometimes it's not so easy listening. You could imagine yourself going, okay, that's enough Necrai talking for a day. If you wanted something equally as accessible, you could always go for a band like Scandal, but I don't think Scandal quite so much do that easy form of innocence that really helps Silent Siren be such a relaxing and calming band. Now, I know that we could say that all of these bands, I mean, Necrai, Talkie, Scandal, if they disappeared, it'd be very hard to think of bands that could step into their shoes. Every band worth listening to, every band worth remembering, worth sticking around, exists on a knife edge of having qualities that set them apart. That is true. So maybe this is just me whinging on about the loss, potentially, of a band that I personally really like. However, I don't just think it's that, which is the reason why, if I look at my music player, apparently Silent Siren is the band who I've most listened to in the last couple of years. I think the real reason is because, given the last couple of years that most of us have had, their balance of music is something that we pretty much all could really do with right now. So call me biased or call it cheesy, but I think the world could really use a Silent Siren right now. Now I hope that this is just a hiatus and they use this opportunity to go away and work out what they want to do with their sound before coming back triumphantly. I did say previously in the video about Hina that I do think that Hina's departure, as unfortunate as it is, is a real opportunity for them to do something creative and maybe mix up their sound just a little bit while still maintaining what is basically fundamentally the Silent Siren formula. And I do hope that when they look at this, they do eventually come to see it as more of an opportunity than a complete and utter damnation of their chances, but for a band who uses the word family more than Vin Diesel, I can understand how this would have been quite a gut punch for them. 
So there's not really too much more to say on the subject right now, except for I do hope that we'll be seeing the return of a reinvigorated Simon and Siren in the not too distant future. I did pick the loudest place to do the final bit of this video. However, for now, get in the comments, tell us what you think, tell me what you think is going to happen in the future, what you'd like to see in the future for them, and are there any bands who you'll be listening to in place of the ladies in this hopefully hiatus phase. So, until I get in the comments and see you there, and until the next hopefully less miserable video, for now, just look at the jangly thing.